right y'all welcome back for another episode of living with sunshine i am outside today because i need to cut some wood because i'm making a console table for lennox in her bedroom because her birthday is coming up and she's getting either a hamster or a guinea pig you all might know we used to have a dog but that didn't work out because of some of the aggressive behaviors she was displaying and since then lennox has wanted a pet that she could cuddle i was so on board with getting her some fish or an aquarium because i like that but we've kind of settled on either a hamster or a guinea pig so we'll see what she decides on her actual birthday but until then we need to have a table in her room so that way the cage has something to sit on and as i was checking at the walmart and target local pet stores it seems like to buy one it was going to be about 60 or 70 dollars and i'm all about saving some money so i found a plan on pinterest with a cut list to build a table it's definitely going to be on the smaller side because the cage isn't going to be that big and it's something to just go in her room so come along with me as i build this table most likely today it's, it's saturday before her birthday probably today i'll just get it cut and assembled i probably won't get around to sanding it and then staining it until tomorrow or later in the week so glad y'all are here with me again and let's get started As you all just saw I just cut all of the wood that is needed for the table two legs and then um, connecting via pocket holes uh, four pieces of one by four one by six one by six yeah one by six by four um, so now I'm gonna go inside I need to get the screws I also need to get my Craig jig so that I can make some of those pocket holes and then go ahead and assemble the table. As you can see, there were a couple of places where you saw me flip the wood, and that's because I noticed on one end that was gonna be a scrap piece of wood. They had put some staples in it and some something, and I just didn't want that to be a part of the table and having to worry about sanding that out um, so that it could take the stain. So again, I'm gonna go get the screws and the drill so I can do the pocket holes and wrap this table up. pocket holes done and I thought after thinking about it it probably would be better if I assembled the table in her room so we can see how it looks so I'm going to take a moment to clean up all this mess out here get the wood inside and then I'll catch you all once I get into her room to start assembling the table All right, so the table is probably about 90% done being put together. I have the top just laying on the legs right now because I just realized, why did I put this table together inside her room and I still have to take it outside to sand it? I mean, I can paint it inside the room by putting the drop cloth down and she still has to decide what color she wants it to be. So I'm just gonna show it to you all right now again and just know it'll look a little bit different 
once it's fully sanded and painted so I can attach it. So here it is. Once it gets attached all the way, it will get moved against the wall. But I think this was a good project. Table for less than, what, $40? So I'm, I'm proud of it. Let's see what Linux has to say. Hey, Linux, come here. So she saw me starting to put it together, but she hadn't seen the full thing. So you all are getting a genuine first look at it because she has no idea what it's going to look like. Linux, mm -hmm. come here, sweetheart. Can we look at the table? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. It's nice when my hands are getting weak. Okay, well, the top isn't attached to it just yet because I forgot I got to take it outside and, and sand it. But what do you think? Really good. This could actually become your desk. <laughs> we can get rid of this one and I build you another one over there too. Hold on, but wait a second. Then where is my hands are going to go? That's going to be my desk because it doesn't have I was being silly, but what do you think about it? Do you like it? Yes, I really do like it. Can you screw the cords to my bed? Well, yeah, it'll go against the wall and it'll fit between the windows, but I have to take it back outside to sand it what? so that it's smooth so we don't get any um, splinters in our fingers. Any other words before I wrap this up? Uh, hold on. Let me go get my doll to see what she says. Girl, goodbye. Hold on, wait. I don't want you to get splinters on your doll. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> well, thank you, Linux and Ariel. No, her name is Princess Ariel. Whatever. All right, y'all. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Living with Sunshine. I will come back and probably show you all what it looks like sanded and complete it just in a photo at the end. So until next time. Talk to y'all later. Bye. This is part one.